Now we're on page 69 of your cardiac dysrhythmia interpretation workbook and I'm going to talk about third degree AV block. So in a third degree AV block, the, typically the heart rate is slow. As a rule, heart rate is 45 or below. This is according to um, Henry Marriott, who is considered one of the gurus of cardiology. Um, and I recommend anything written by Henry Marriott. And um, since we're on the topic, um, I also re recommend anything written by Mary Boudreau Conover, who's an, an excellent author and has written some really great books, um, either solo or in partnership with some of the um, cardiologist uh, gurus um, in the U.S. In any case, so the rate is slow. Uh, P-waves are present, but they're completely disassoci disassociated from the QRS complexes, and this is really the hallmark of third-degree AV block. So if we're looking at the P-waves, um, they map out and they're equidistant, but they're also equidistant in secondary AV block type 2. But the difference here is that they map out, they're equidistant, and what happens is periodically you'll see the P wave uh, alter the QRS morphology because it falls right in the middle of the QRS complex. So there is no consistent PR interval as we s would see in secondary AV block type 2, so all of these are inconsistent. The P waves are equidistant, and they march right through the QRS, alterating uh, the uh, QRS morphology. The PR interval is not really applicable, since um, there are no consistent P waves per QRS, because uh, the waves of atrial depolarization are not getting through to the ventricles. That's what's happening um, in third degree AV block. The QRS is usually wide, and that's because the focus in the ventricle that's pacing the heart is a ventricular escape focus. The ratio is not applicable, and the rhythm is regular, and this is important, right, because these wide QRS complexes are coming, all coming from a single focus uh, down in the ventricle, and when a single focus fires in sequence, it has a tendency to do so rhythmically, and you'll remember that from one of the first uh, presentations uh, from this book. So in a third degree AV block, what's happening is the SA node is firing, but it can't get through the AV node or the bundle of hiss. There's a complete block here that's happening. And so consequently, uh, the SA node fires, just can't get through to the ventricles, and um, uh, the ventricles are waiting for an impulse to uh, reach them, it doesn't happen, so an ectopic focus begins to fire and take over pacing from somewhere in the ventricles. I've drawn it here in the left ventricle, but it could be the right ventricle, it could be anywhere really. But this is this focus is an escape focus, it's a compensatory focus, and it takes over pacing. And if you look at the heart rate from uh, the previous page, you'll see that it's quite slow, and that's because uh, a focus in the ventricle has an inherently slower firing rate. Remember we said the Bakinji fibers um, have an inherent firing rate of between uh, uh, 20 and 40 beats per minute. And if we look at the heart rate here, here's one that falls in a dark uh, line, so we have a heart rate of 300, 150, 175, 60, 50, 43, 37, 33. So a heart rate around 35 beats per minute in this case here, so very uh, slow heart rate. Now what's also interesting is uh, that um, when the SA node fires and it's sending off a wave of depolarization um, and the ventricles are firing at a slower rate. It, Occasionally what will happen is the AV valves will be closed when the ventricles are depolarizing or contracting and the atria will be contracting against closed AV valves. So sometimes what we'll see in a third degree AV block is blood backing up into the neck and we'll see the jugular veins distend. They call it irregular jugular venous distension. We sometimes see that in third degree AV block and we sometimes see it, uh, well we see it in about 50% of ventricular tachycardias and I'll talk about that a little later. The other thing that sometimes happens with a third degree AV block is if the block is here but the focus is here, you can get a narrow complex third degree of your block. In other words, a third degree of your block with a narrow QRS complex. And most often we see this in kids with an underlying cardiac anomaly.